Hey all, Heba here. So uh, it has finally happened. There's actually, you know, screenshots from the game that is telling us that fleets are coming. And uh, I don't know when they're coming. No one has told me anything about that. I know as much as, you know, the community as a whole. But uh, I'm kind of hoping, and this is just me hoping here, that uh, the fleets will be introduced in the next update in uh, June. But again, just my guess. So uh, what about fleets? I mean, we've been waiting literally years for this feature to be added to the game. And all we have so far is three screenshots. And uh, it does give us a very good introduction to fleets and what you can do and what you probably should do. Um, but it doesn't really tell us every detail. So uh, for example, you know, the name of your fleet can be minimum three, maximum five characters, yada, yada, yada. You have a call sign, you have an emblem, you have like tier gate, and then you have a win rate gate. And uh, yeah, I would have liked this to be an XP gate instead of win rate, because uh, yeah, win rates are very different if you play, uh, you know, primarily in a division or solo. But anyway, I'm not gonna let that uh, ruin the fun here. At least not yet. <laughs> so uh, the latest screenshot here is obviously the most interesting uh, because it gives us a pretty good view of fleets and uh, the fact that they're going to be more than just you know expanded divisions it looks like they're going to be like an integral part of the game much like the pc version where you can upgrade your fleet headquarters for example and uh, while you're doing that and it looks like also just like on pc you'll be using oil for that purpose we can see that up in the right corner under the work in progress uh, picture so uh you know playing your fleet earn oil however you do that i'm not sure about that but anyway and then i'm assuming you use the oil to upgrade your like naval academy for example which is i'm guessing giving you more commander xp per battle i don't know if that's just fleet battles or you know standard battles as a whole but who knows i guess we'll find out and then or you can use your oil on the naval college i'm assuming again it could be something other than oil it could be steel for example i don't know which gives you more ship xp or dry dock which uh, you know lowers your maintenance costs and then this officer house is very interesting because we can see as a um, base you can only have 20 members in your fleet which is you know it's actually quite good i thought it was going to start at 10 to be honest uh 20 is fine actually uh but it looks like you have you know at least four levels of expansion uh you know on your fleet so uh, that could be you know we don't know the increments but i'm guessing it's five so you'll be able to add another 20 members to your fleet. It could also be 10, who knows. We'll find out when it, whenever it launches. And then there's the Warship Design Department. Gives you more global XP, like 40% is actually quite good. <laughs> Pretty good one. Uh, steel received, not really sure what that means, but I know what it means, but not sure how it plays into the game. And then uh, the shipboard, Shipyard, which I assume lowers the cost of researchable ships. Um, probably not too many, you know avid fleet members who are really going to need that one. I'm guessing most people have already unlocked everything. But still, I mean, I'm not gonna complain at all. So you got like the, the clan page like this, or fleet page, and the personnel page. I'm guessing the members, requests. I'm guessing that's member requests, and then upgrades. Upgrades is interesting, because uh, it could be like PC, it could be completely different. I guess we'll find out. So yeah, Fleet's a long-awaited addition to the game and perhaps, honestly, a little bit too long-awaited addition because uh, as happy I, as I am for this inclusion, it's probably two years late in my opinion. Um, I'm not that excited about it anymore. Like I, I have hardly played Legends for a month now, I think. Um, I'm hoping that Fleet's will kind of get me back into it. I mean, I already have uh, you know a clan going we have a good member list uh, So it should be you know pretty quick to set up the uh, the fleet and have some good fights But again, I don't know how fleets will actually fit into the game like is fleets going to have their own uh, You know separate play area just like standard and AI Or will fleets just be a part of standard or will it just be a, an event thing in the game? Who knows? Uh, I'm kind of hoping that if you uh, play fleets you will have your own uh, you know matchmaking and everything like that so it's completely different uh, or separate from the rest of the game uh, but i don't know i guess we'll uh, we'll find out 
so uh, other than you know the addition of legendary tier this is probably the biggest addition to legends ever and uh, while we're still not getting training rooms quite yet which does devalue the whole fleet thing a little bit uh, unfortunately because uh, it would be nice to have training rooms and fleets but uh, it's okay I'm uh, I can settle for fleets at least at the moment and uh, then who knows when we'll get to training rooms but because uh, they have been delayed that's uh, pretty much out there so uh, excited for fleet yes I am but uh, there's still there's still a lot missing here and uh, it is a few years late unfortunately probably a little too late for most avid veteran players who have probably already left the game really so uh, anyway that's my thoughts and uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you out there